final quarter here, 1996 qualifying final. Eastern Suburbs in front at three-quarter time. 14-12-96 lead. Thompson 6-9-45-51 points on the Great Western Hotel final quarter scoreboard. And it's all over by the shouting. I think, Have you boys. ever seen a club in district football click, kick 10 in the last? Uh, well, I haven't because I'm not old enough, but you two probably have. When you didn't play in the district league, I did. Because you probably were on the ground then, were you old? Do you want to tell us about your 200, 400 and 749 games? No, I used to get it down to Ronnie, and Ronnie would just slip on through. <laughs> <laughs> memory, sweet memory. To see Bobby Beatty pick the football up in the centre of the ground, holds it aloft to punch it into the turf to commence the final quarter here for the qualifying final, and this will see Eastern Suburbs tackle. Bannock Burn next semi, Setty in the second semi. <laughs> All right, here we go. Taylor and Reuter. Reuter gets a tap down towards McGough. He's wrapped up by Withers. And a secondary bounce by umpire Fox. So we'll do it all again. No, he's only Foxen. Here we go. Reuter and Taylor. Reuter, another tap down to Hobbs on this occasion. Breaks the tackle and then breaks the second one. Does he, Burke? No, he doesn't. Wasn't quick enough holding the ball. And David Burke for the Tigers to take the free kick. Just the defensive side in the centre square goes towards Humphrey. Irving over the back takes a good mark. Had a good game, this boy. He has. So they're breaking down again at half four, aren't they? Yeah, they certainly are. Sets it up for Rundle, who takes the mark. And Lang's called for it. He's got Murray in support. But he likes to go further afield towards Loughton and Atchison. They go up. Atchison in front. Takes a good mark. Has not had a big influence this afternoon, Atchison? Played a very ordinary game. Short towards Richardson, and he takes the mark. Good in the first quarter, hasn't done much since. Richardson now wants to move it on quickly. Smith's at full forward now. He leads out and goes up. Can he take it the second attempt? Well, Withers takes it from him. Goes over the top towards Menzies. They're either going to run through or Menzies picks it up and goals. And it's a good start for the Tigers. That's what they needed. Goal to Dale Menzies. That's his second, and he's going to be playing at a minute and a half in this final quarter. Thompson will get up. Oh, that, that's the most ridiculous statement I've ever heard you <laughs> make. Brett Ray, you. Thompson will get up. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have... I'll have <laughs> odds, now you want odds. odds. Oh, he, he wants, wants odds. odds. You made the statement, you take even money You're or odds. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you made the statement, gee. Well, 7 9 51, Thompson. Coming back at Eastern Suburbs, 14-12. 96 margin back to 45 points. Early stages of the final quarter. But only eight goals. Only kicked seven for the game. And then another nine. Tom oh, Foxy, making a good one. That's Bobby Beatty. So the few changes. Over. Few changes by Thompson. Cowan's at centre half forward now on Loughton. Uh, Menzies up the ground. Smith, as we said, at full forward. And Gann next to him with Godzinovsky going back on him. Taylor in the centre, big thump, but only as far as Hobbs. Gets a right foot to it along Murray and Reuter. And also Chris Gardner chase it towards the boundary line. Gardner and Murray, or Murray worked very hard there. Robbie Reuter third there in line, goes for goal, and it's missed. One all in the centre. Three goals, two from the half forward opportunist for the suburbs. Quite a busy afternoon, Robbie Reuter. Did you find it? Ball now back into the members' side of the ground. Looks there for uh, Loughton. Hotly pressed there by Count, who's uh, having a run on the ball for the Thompson side. Keep those lips to yourself, lady. Ball out of bounds now. Half forward flank. <laughs> Suburbs into attack. Taylor does well. Strong there oh, for a man. Got it across to Atchison. Now turned to Withers. Long kick there, but oh, there's no one home for the Tigers. Gann was there, but Rundle picks it up. Gets it back to... Reuter, collared, good enough to get the ball away. Hobbs overruns it, now with us. Quick hands to McFarlane. Inboard to Richardson. One step and bang, kicks it 50 metre. Good kick too, up there looking for the high flies, but again, ground level. Wembridge does very well for the uh, Eagles. Beautiful footy, and uh, finds Peter Lang at half back now for the Eastern Suburbs side. Not a lot of movement, so he's just taking his time. Lang and elects to uh, continue along the centre wing position. Looks to Murray. He's hotly pressed there by McFarlane. And uh, ball off hands and out of bounds. Right in front of the commentary position here on members' side centre wing of Godfrey Street Oval. Good throw in too. It's a Perler. Taylor. Knocks it forward. Cowan comes through pretty strongly. That's a fair bump. That's a fair bump, Foxy. That was a terrible well, was a free fair, kick. What's that free kick for? That's just terrible umpiring. 
There's a fair hip and shoulder. This is a man's Too sport. Too, Too high. high. He hit him in the shoulder. Shoulder to shoulder. shoulder. Ridiculous. Long from Rundle towards Lang. Oh, the big if arms. If you try to tell me this bloke's not best on the ground, I'll argue with the you. The big arms went up, and I'm not arguing with you. Ronnie probably will. Short to Murray. Oh, just measured the pass. Ronnie will pick somebody out of the bag for three, <laughs> won't you? Don't worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, move his dad, mate, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Murray goes long with the right boot. Taylor getting back there over the top. McFarlane push, and it's going to go to uh, McFarlane, is it? Or maybe Harris. Well, Taylor's got the footy in hand, but it's not going to be his. Well, it is. Allison must have hit Taylor in the back. So he goes to the outer side. Richardson up, tapped good it on. Tap. Yeah, good tap to the Lamb. If it's going to sit for him, Hobbs is right next to him. Hobbs works very hard there. Well done. Lamb tries to slap it back out to Richardson. O'Leary's in front of him, though. He taps it on towards Fulston. But the boundary line is too close. And we'll have a boundary thrown at half forward on the outer side for the Eagles. They lead 14 13 97. Thompson 7 9 51 on the Great Western Hotel final quarter scoreboard. Now, Taylor. Lang do battle. Taylor wins out. Comes back to Taylor. The big fella picks it up and drops it like a hot scone. Well, the umpire said he was held without it. And uh, chunky Nathan Taylor. He, he leant back on the kick. pack and tipped it over. Kicks up now. Lou in front was Lout and caught one there from Cowan. No free kick. Loose ball now. Sees Andy Reuter pick it up. Goes out wide looking for O'Leary. But oh, uh, Lang, O'Leary, uh, doesn't matter. Burke was there. Well done. Got it back to uh, Lamb. Lamb. Yeah. Has a bounce. Steadies up to half forty goes lovely footy and finds Terry Nan Curvis who's been very quiet in the middle two quarters. Looks here for the lead. That was good footy, but Smith uh, a little underdone, couldn't quite hold it. As we see the loose ball spill back to where Withers, good hands back there to his teammate in Menzies, gets around one, shoots from thirty metres, yeah, good footy, kick. Dale Menzies, and kicks his uh, third goal. Uh, so is he on drugs there, Cameron? <laughs> I think he might be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh there you go. Brett Rovere. 8-9, 57, Thompson. Eastern Series, 14, 13, 97, 40 points of difference on the Great Western Hotel final quarter scoreboard, and we've been playing six minutes in this final term. And the lights might have to come on soon. Yeah, it's getting very dull. Big cumulus clouds sitting above us. <laughs> No one really gets a decisive tap, but oh, Withers runs through the centre, runs his full term and kicks it long. Now, where's Cowan? He's not oh, there, yeah. you see. And that's probably a poor coaching move, having him up at centre-half forward, I'd suggest. As we see now that uh, the suburbs just are fiddling around with it a little bit. Grozanowski doesn't mind. Gets the ball there off road bottom, kicks out to O'Leary. Knocked away from him by... Uh, oh, oh. McFarlane. <laughs> Hello, I thought we were going to be in a tackle. Wrestling there <laughs> for a minute. Head high. And uh, Christian McFarlane just puts his head back on his shoulders. And uh, he'll get the free kick for the Thompson side, fully five metres out from goal. And has the ability to kick 50 metres or longer. Accuracy will be the only question. It was to make the difference 34 points. Seven minutes into the final term. Comes in now and kicks it and kicks it straight through the middle. So a goal. McFarlane's first. Makes Thompson 9-9-63. Trailing Eastern Suburbs 14-13-97. 34 the diff on the Great Western Hotel final quarter scoreboard. You have got to be joking, don't you? Hey? They're going to win by 10 goals. Brett, you are on drugs. So 34 points of difference. They have kicked... Uh, Three goals to nothing in the first seven minutes. So a good start for the uh, Tigers, giving, giving themselves every chance anyway. <coughs> yes, they're certainly finishing it off and uh, finishing it off at, uh, they would need to be because otherwise uh, Tuesday night training would be pretty tough, I'd reckon. With us, hard at it again. Yeah, it's interesting to see their attacking setup. They've got a 2 3 forward line. So where's their spare man? Probably running on the ball, I'd say. Cowan's a long way up from centre-half forward in the middle of the ground. Against Loughton's, probably the extra one. They're, taking, they're trying to take that out of it, Ron. It's not a bad move. Oh, they're away. And two except umpire Fox said it was a throw. And Wembridge <laughs> to take the free kick. It was against Richardson. Richardson.
Watson's pleading slick hands. Unfortunately, Fox umpire Fox didn't think so. Lang oh, held on to yeah. there, but doesn't matter. O'Leary's got the footy. Short little kick to Murray, who has to sit and wait. And coming at him, Gardner, holding the man, was it? Over the shoulder. And Nathan Murray to take the free kick. And go for his fourth goal. And this will be a steadying goal for the suburbs, if you can put it through. How long have we been going? Uh, we've been going uh, eight minutes. Yeah, I'll just about finish them if they put this through. Murray now from 40, 45 degree angle. Goes now. It's a good kick off the boot. It's going to land in the square. Taylor's there. Tap it through for a rush behind. So they go to 14 14 98 Eastern Suburbs. Thompson 9 9 63 on the Great Western Hotel final quarter scoreboard. Kick in by Harris, going down the middle, best way home. Richardson in front, can't take the mark. Radford, tackled by Taylor. Getting around the corner, Richardson, McFarlane and Wallace. Wallace can just tap it to McFarlane, he oh, should have. Pushing the back, back. Though by yeah. Rundle. And Wallace to get it. He should have just tapped it on to McFarlane, he had the run then, but uh, did. got the free kick anyway. Yeah, you bring him back a few metres. Yeah. So James Wallace. Cowan leads for him. He goes in that direction now. And Loughton can't take the mark off him. Plugger turns around onto his left and goes long across the ground. Menzies and Collins, who's got the job on him again now. Collins leads in the race of the ball. Got O'Leary in the boundary line there. And sees it over the boundary for a throw in outside 50 with the Tigers attacking once again. On the right side of the ground to the attacking side of the ground. So an opportunity here for the Thompson side. About 60 metres from their goal. McFarlane in front this time and does well. Back at the pack there, Reuter. Nullified the tap. Good work, Wimbridge. Just a little chip off the ground and uh, gathers a good 25, 30 metres for his side. And again, it's out of bounds. Level on for Luke Thompson. They did that before too, didn't they? Yep, they did. Boundary throw in. Reuter and Taylor. Reuter over the back, trapped by Radford. Left foot kick towards Steiner, who can play on in the middle now. Hobbs coming at him. He gets his kick away, though. Menzies, and also Smith falls over the crucial moment. Rundle there. Little kick, no. Oh, Tackled high, no. Three off. kick. Pack develops in there, and it's going to be a ball up. Could have been a free kick, though. For too high against Rundle. No, the umpire Rundle. couldn't see it. He was, a, he was uh, at a play between him and... That's the, not like an umpire never to see a free kick. And fairness to him, you can't play him if you can't see him. Ball up, Cowan, and Loughton. Loughton gets it down towards Matthews. Trapped by Richardson with the outside of the right foot, though, again. Going through for one behind. Well, he certainly had the opportunity to kick that on his left foot. So I've come to a conclusion about him. He, he doesn't know how to use it. I think you're probably right. He doesn't know how to use it. I made an excuse for him in the second quarter when he was off balance, but he certainly wasn't off balance that time. So you see, Rowie going to bomb another one in. 9-10-64, Thompson. Eastern Suburbs, 14-14-98. And the Great Western Hotel final quarter scoreboard. Row bottom Alex to go to the... Oh, well, he was going to go long to the outer side, then he went short to McGough, and it was the worst-looking kick I've ever seen. He's going to get wrapped up, McGough, and get, well, it's going to fall to Hobbs anyway. He gets he's around, kick it to himself. Gets around Smith. It doesn't get around Riches, and those Smiths work very hard across centre-half forward there to wrap the ball up and keep it in the forward line. It's going to be a ball up. <laughs> Look quite funny, isn't it? Oh. I thought he was kicking it to himself. Halfway through the kick, he thought, no, I'm going to go, get, go short here. <laughs> Unbelievable. Ball up. Reuter goes up, gets a second thump to it. Rundle, good trap, but can't get it away. Still on hands and knees. Now he can. Falls to the handball to Hobbs. Handball to O'Leary, who's running on the wing. Lamb's right next to him. He keeps it in front of him. Lamb pressuring him towards the boundary line. O'Leary will be happy to see it over. And it is. The suburbs certainly keeping their forward line open. They've got Robbie Reuter at centre half forward against Gardner and Allison against Harris at full back, and that's it. Murray's the next best at half forward, so they're keeping it open. They want to run it into their forward line. 13 minutes gone of the final quarter. Ball on the outer side, centre wing. Pack of players have formed, and um, but he will come in and bounce down. <laughs> Thirty-five points the margin, Thompson. Making a belated comeback. It's uh, knocked forward there by Reuter. Good work to Lovell. On to Lang. Lang over the top to Murray. He's got 20 metres if he wants to steady and pump it through. But he didn't run far enough. And he's kicked it straight down the throat there of Mark Harris. At full back, his little chip kick. Not a good one. Or nearly marked by Ellison. 
couldn't do so has now grabs us. Can he pick it up? Yes, he can. Went the handball and then elects to oh, chip it over. Yeah, it's the worst looking kick yeah. I've ever seen as well from Grabber. Still yeah. running though, Grab. He's found Wallace at her wing. Good footy. Good work there, Grozanowski. Thumped it back from Winston Kane. Oh. Well collared. Loose ball sees row bottom. Torpedo, putter, beauty. Robbie Reuter overruns it. Burke's there, likewise Atchison. Gives it off to Chrissy Gardner. Feeds off the hand pass. Good Harris, tackle, that's dropping the ball. to get around McGough and uh, Lange, advantage is paid. Hit the goal. He has. Lange he has. has. Hit the post. Hit the post. That's just cost your best on ground, Pete. <laughs> oh, you're a very hard man. <laughs> you are just full of it. <laughs> oh, you just don't want to be told who the best man on the ground was. You like to come up with it all by the last self. <laughs> I know who best on ground is for. Don't you worry about yeah, that. Yeah, that was there it. he is right there. Yeah, no, Number second one. <laughs> Not going to give him any votes now. <laughs> Burke Long towards McFarlane. Hobbs and Reuter. Hobbs on hands and knees. And Hobbs trying to tap it out and can't do so. And McFarlane showing a bit of frustration in the middle there. So Taylor and Reuter to do the rack work again. Taylor gets his left hand to it. Richardson breaks free with the hands, gives it to Grapsis on his wrong a bit foot ambitious. though. Goes towards Rundle, Lovell, shepherding. Rundle to Fulston, handball over the top to Radford. Tries to tap it towards Lovell, he does. Wallace and the boundary line, and the boundary line wins for a throw in. At half four for the Eagles, they lead 14, 15, 99, tops the 9, 10, 64. Thrown in, a oh, poor throw on this occasion. Richardson, a big thump straight to Reuter, who gets his kick away as he's tackled by Wallace. Down towards Atchison and Murray coming at him at pace, but Cowan, Shepherds, Atchison with a torpedo towards Rundle getting back. Humphrey can't take the mark on his chest, and it's out of bounds. And Rundle Amy. just holding his hamstring, and he's had some troubles with it during the year. And he's yep, gone. he doesn't look too good, but he's How still going. On the ground. Oh, that's the worst throw-in I've ever seen as well. Lout standing there, big thump towards McGough. He's got Fulston there as well. Good play. Goes long towards centre-half forward. Lang has his name absolutely written on it. That's great courage and a great mark from Peter Lang. Not a bad mark. Oh, mate, he's that far in front of everybody else on the ground. It's a joke. Great kick to Reuter, and Robbie will turn around, and he'll go for he number four. the magic towel out in a rundle to help his hamstrings, but they're wiping his face and not his legs. <laughs> the magic towel. <laughs> <laughs> Roy now comes in and he pushes it out like to the left and left it out there. So three goals, three for Robbie Roy to this afternoon. And the 100. Crack the century 14, 16, 100. Eastern Suburbs, Thompson 9, 10, 64 on the Great Western Hotel final quarter scoreboard. Harris kicks in towards McFarlane. Reuter over the back. Big yeah, thumb and boundary line. Beckins. I can see why you picked him in the Little League side earlier in the year now, Jason. Thank you, Noel. He's been the dominant ruckman in the GDFL this year. And, well, runner up, he has been for a couple of years. Run-up to Tim Gardner in the Whitley medal was testament to his year on Monday night. He polled 22 votes to come second. Withers now gets it towards Atchison and Nan Curvis. And Wembridge has done a pretty good job on Nan Curvis this afternoon too. He's been out of it. O'Leary. Traps it in front of Lamb, gets away, kicks towards Reuter and Gardner. Reuter can't take the mark. Play on advantage for the high tackle. Radford, oh, gives it to Murray. Oh, come on, umpire. That's terrible, umpire. He, he obviously played the mark, did he know? No, he went like that. Well, He's then why the wouldn't it be advantage play on? Absolutely no idea why he did that. Murray standing in the goal square with the pass from Radford, turning around to kick the goal into the kindergarten, and he's brought the ball back. Yeah, he made a mistake then, Damien Fox. Foxy outfoxed himself. <laughs> Thank God he's been at Newtown for the year. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder Chris Aikman's going bald, is he? <laughs> he no, should be if he isn't. Oh. And Robbie Reuter has kicked it. A point. A nice looking kick too off the boot, but uh, unfortunately for the uh, Eagles, it's uh, three goals for Robbie Reuter's personal telly here this afternoon. And... Uh, well, it won't matter that much. We don't need percentage now, do we? <laughs> I don't <Just> think so. <laughs> <laughs> Harris to kick in. Comes towards Atchison. And Reuter again. Taps to the front. Trapped by Fulston. Handball. Back towards Taylor. Too high. 
And Fulston's going to take it, is he? So, Fulston, outside 50. The lead's on from Allison. He puts it out in front of him. Oh, good mark. Second grab. Well, that excited the under-18 boy. <laughs> it did. And Allison led out. Good lead. Good strong lead. Good strong mark. And you wouldn't believe it. That policeman's gone up there with him. Has he really? Yeah, can't you see him behind the fence? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's walked up with him. Oh, yeah. yeah. Making sure they don't come over when Allison goes for his it's third sad. goal. No fun in them, have they? No, nah, this takes all the fun out of local football. That's what it's all about doing that sort of thing. Allison comes in. Oh, good kick off the boot, too. Straight through the middle. And his third goal. One of them did it anyway. Yeah, <laughs> good. Get on your bike, mate. <laughs> well, what can you say? <laughs> I've sort of only done this for their odds there, Cameraman suggests now. <laughs> but they're, in all, they're, more, they're in more strife than the Werribee Duck. Fair dinkum. 15, 17, 107 Eastern Suburbs. Thompson 9, 10, 64 on the Great Western Hotel final quarter scoreboard. And Eastern Suburbs to meet Bannockburn in next weekend's yeah. second semi final, while Thompson meets Werribee Centrals. In the cutthroat. In the cutthroat first semi final. There's one good thing about Sunday football. What's that? The coach can't call a Monday morning training run. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Thompson, uh, Thompson get it through Taylor. Down to Richardson. Goes, oh, good mark. Gordon Collins ran back with the flight of the footy and got it. Row bottom, who hasn't put much wrong today. Goes short to Grosdenowski, who's another one who's been supreme in the back Terrific. line. Terrific. And he goes short to Reuter. So Play on, touched off the mark. I'll look at Reuter. To tell me he's best on the ground, Grosdenowski. <laughs> Holding the footy in one hand there. Was that Reuter goes towards Stein and Murray? Murray crawling after it. Good tap out two to O'Leary, and gets his kick away. Lang and Atchison, and Lang can't keep the footy in. It's going to be a throw in at half forward. We've been playing at 20 minutes in this final quarter, so the uh, the flags have even stopped getting excited. <laughs> Thank goodness. Throw in, Lang over the back, big thump, grabs us. Can he trap it? No, he can't. Picked up by Lovell. Then on hands and knees, he's tackled, holding the ball. Free kick. And it's going to go to uh, Atchison. No, in fact, going to go to Burke. As you see Sammy Faulkner around the ground again. Good on you, Sam. This time ch chasing his own namesake. <laughs> Goes up towards Cowan. Takes a good mark in front of Loughton. Yeah, get out of the way, Mick. And go, can go wide to uh, Lamb. He's got Harris next to him, so gives it to him. Oh, he has to sit and wait, though. It's a poor handball. Put Harris under pressure, but he goes. And goes short towards McFarlane. Takes a good mark. Got Wallace out there on the flank. Look, no movement up there. No. Justin Justin's run, was running the wrong way then. Goes wide towards Withers. Christian Smith coming at it. Trapped, though, by Collins. Good play. Runs away. Right foot kick. Sensational vision away, Leary. And good mark. Got Loughton running past, but he just sits there now. And he's got Murray and Reuter as options at... Centre half forward. Got Loughton short. Could go to him, but he's just uh, he's got Rowbottom coming up too from full back. He goes short towards Fulston or sets him up. And poor kick. Lamb gets around Loughton. Goes with his right boot now towards centre half forward. Reuter getting back there. Grosdenowski. Reuter puts a hand up. Can't get it. Gann also working there. Collins works hard. Well done, son. Goes wide towards O'Leary again, and he takes the mark. He wants to get things moving this time. He pushes it across. He's got Rowbottom and Hobbs. Great kick. Hobbs Keep and going, Rowbottom. Rowie. Oh, Keep Hobbs going, puts, the one going, hand, puts the one hand up. Can play on now. Handball out wide to Wembridge. Good handball too. Wembridge runs from 60. The lead's on. Harris there and Allison getting back there and helping out Stein. Handball to Harris. He can handball to Atchison. He does so. He gets around two Suburbs players. Short little kick towards centre half forwards. Poor. Three Eagles players. Hobbs is one of them. Good play with us though. He was the only Thompson player there. Worked hard. He keeps working through the middle of the ground and finally gets the ball but then wrapped up by Fulston. Gets rid of it. Irving runs across in front of Humphreys and picks it up at the first occasion. Then drops it. Gann taps it out to nobody. Then he follows it up himself. Scrambly footy at the moment. Smith over the top as well. And the umpire, well, he lets it go. Kick off the ground, plugger Cowan. Goes up towards Menzies, two against one. Collins, he's got Reuter there. He gives it to him. The big ruckman can clear the footy for the suburbs and go to the outer side, looking for and finding Hobbs, who doesn't take the mark. Radford's there in support, holding the man no. Wembridge 
Can they get a forward thrust now? Goes through Wembridge on the wing. Runs away from the big man, Taylor. Goes towards Reuter. Running out. He leads. Bowls him over, though. Gardner off the ground. Grabs us. No, it's not. Stein goes with his right boot wide towards... Fulston, and he takes a mark in front of Withers. Yes, Alexis Fulston, a uh, fine job here this afternoon for the Eastern Suburbs site. Just chips it over the top. Good footy, good vision there to O'Leary. Just uh, coasting along at centre half forward. And uh, Lamb, a good 15 metres away, who's been tagging him for most of the day. Chips over the top. The lead, Peter Lang, a beauty. And Peter Lang comes out, takes the mark 55 out from goal. He's got Lovell in the pocket. Oh, and Ann Kervis nearly took a nice mark. Support from Grapsis, who's uh, kick sort of uh, nothing, really. Doesn't find anybody. O'Leary just chips kick. it around the body. And now uh, there's a bit of indecision. I reckon I don't know whether that was out or not. It's hard to say, isn't it? It comes out, goes out and blows back in. What's the call? Because I think that's what happened. Well, that's right. It wasn't out of bounds. It went out of bounds in the air, and then and he caught marked it, in the, it inside in the, the air, ground. Yeah. yeah. And then it was 50 metres because the ball wasn't delivered back to Lamb properly. So he comes Who up cares? to half forward. <laughs> yeah. Don't go off, Langy. Lamb goes towards Menzies and Collins. McFarlane nice. just throws it out to Menzies and follows it up. Handball over the top. Mickey Gann can turn around and just kick the goal. And it's oh, touched. He's touched. Reuter must touched have, it. Reuter must have touched it, yeah. Told Mick Gann all about it, too. Telling him to go back to Pretty Barley. Pretty ordinary footy. Get back to Barley. They win when you're not around. <laughs> that was Noel Fanning, if you didn't quite hear that at the Western. That was Noel Fanning <laughs> commentating there. That's what he did last year. <laughs> yes, Barley, he did. and they won the Premiership. That's oh, right. They probably would have won Thompson the Premiership there. anyway, whether Mick was in the side or not. There were too many top players. They probably would have got beaten today, whether Mick was in the side or not. I would think so. Robottom goes to the outer side. Cowan getting back there. Grobstanovsky just punches it on. Good punch too. Hobbs runs away on the halfback flank, but Menzies following him. He gets his kick away. Goes towards Lang and Atchison. Atchison can't keep it in. It's out of bounds. That's not what I said. I'm saying that's what the player running past him said. Reuter. So oh, go right. back to Barley. Okay. So you jump to <laughs> conclusions, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, the ball's on the half-forward flank now. Eastern Suburbs into attack. I got out of that, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just about into time, on, I'd suggest, of the final quarter. Oh, O'Leary oh, couldn't me. take it. Picking it up now was Nan Curvis. A little chip around the body was OK. Finds Mickey Yan. His left foot kicker, not real decisive, and coming out taking a nice... Robbie Reuter. That's Andrew, his brother. Randu Reuter. <laughs> <laughs> They've both got the same sort of hair, <laughs> Haven't they, Ron? They have, no. Reuter switches play towards Rowbottom. Oh, takes a good mark too. Handball over top to Lang. Can handball to Irving, but he gets around. Gives it back to Rowbottom. And you go long with his kick. Measures it out towards Murray. Stein. Murray will beat him to the to the ball. Can he pick it up? Good tackle by Stein. He dropped the footy. Keep going. He's on hands and knees. Stein now. And gets it back Run to McFarlane. Run at him. Switches play towards Grapsis. And he takes the mark. Can handball right. or kick over the top. He does to Lamb. And he's got Atchison on the wing. He draws Lang, but he gets around Lang easily. Two bounces. Goes with his left boot. Poor kick off the footy. Two on one. Oh. Getting back there. Smith, row bottom. Coming out. Collins and Menzies. Collins works hard. Well done. Menzies now. Can pick it up at 50. He's tackled. Dropped the ball, did he? Got his little kick away. Grovsonowski and Radford are there. Radford, handball, inboard to Wembridge. Gets away from Smith and delivers towards half forward. McFarlane runs at it and takes a good diving mark. Yes, coming uh, back into it a bit, Christian McFarland. Uh, he's been a little bit uh, out of sorts early, but he's had quite a bit of the leather in this last half. Gave it to Nan Kervis, whose left foot kick was a good one. Christian Smith now on the outer side centre wing. Drives it long. Looks up there for the lead of Cowan. Hotly pressed there, Loughton, who was good enough to get it over the line and out of bounds in that left forward pocket. Good 35 metres from the Thompson side. And uh, not far from Simon Tom now, I'd suggest, gentlemen. Margin is 30, sorry, 42 points. And uh, the Eastern Suburbs side will advance to the second semi next Saturday. Reuter gets a tap down. Smith tackled, tries to get the ball away to Burke. Hobbs running through, can't take her with him. And pack develops just outside 50. Going to have another ball yeah, up. It'll be Sunday, won't it, the second semi? It is, correct. Good memory. Thank you. <laughs> So a ball up just outside 50 for the Tigers. That's right, Ron. You always eliminate them on Saturdays, don't you? <laughs> That's right. 
Wembridge. Along the wing towards Murray. He's tackled by Atchison. The ball floats back out towards the wing. Oh, McFarlane shows the ball to Irving, then gets around. Bounce it was a poor one. Why did he bounce it? Got his left foot to it. And Curvis getting running back with the flight of the foot. He can't take the mark. Wallace taps it out to nobody. Irving runs back. Handball's good to Radford. To Fulston. Handball to Hobbs. They're working well through the middle. Fulston. Oh, good vision. Found Thompson on the outside as well. Now he goes long. Allison runs up the ground. Holds him off. Takes a mark. Hits him on the chest. Reuter. Rose. Robbie. Finish it off. Go on. And he has Robbie Reuter. Right go. Robbie Reuter. That's really a rubbing the salt into the wound. <laughs> well, that's where he's uh, good no, off the good front of the pack like yeah. that. There's no doubt about that. Good exchange of handballs through the middle of the ground also through the, from the Eagles. And I reckon it's been sensational coaching for Mickey Thompson because he gave uh, Daryl Robottom a 10-minute burst on the pill and then sent him back to full back. I reckon that's been a really good move. It got uh, live and decent suburbs up because they lulled out of it a bit there at the start of that quarter. Okay, Eastern Suburbs, 16-17, 113, lead Thompson, 9-11-65. Great Western Hotel, final quarter scoreboard. Reuter and Taylor. Reuter goes up, good thump to to Hobbs. He's got Fulston there as well, coming through that Burke. Radford can't trap it. Wembridge can and gets around two and gets his kick away to centre-half forward. Reuter and Gardner. They go back. Murray also there. Gardner out pointed two to one. He works very hard though, then holds it in. Could be holding the ball. He's got to be careful. Now he's worked well because he's got a bounce. There wasn't wasn't a lot of help there for uh, Chris Gardner for a while. It's been a story of the afternoon though from a Thompson point of view. They've really uh, just relied on individual efforts uh, which haven't been forthcoming today. Lang again, good work. Gets it to Fulston. He was hotly pressed. Lovell threw, threw it out. Yes, good call. Um, by Fox. And uh, Aitchison now gets the free kick in the, the back pocket. Elects to uh, bring it across there looking for McFarlane. A little bit too high there for Hobson has been paid the mark. There's that ball again. <laughs> Get a shot of that ball, Brett. <laughs> Berkey's going to have a kick. Beautiful. <laughs> Oh. McFarlane looks up there for Christian Smith in front. Yeah, he should have been paid the mark, but uh, I think he, he recovers been, so. well. Good Top kick. one from Collins. Good enough to... Uh, no, it was Allison yeah. down the ground. And, uh, <coughs> well, opportunity here for Thompson. Means he slung as he kicked the football. Will Gannon kick his goal? Yes, he does. All too late for Mickey, though. All too late, she cried. Mickey McGann was absolutely cut out of it in the first three quarters of the game by uh, Collins. I reckon he's played a great 10, 11, game. 71. Thompson? Well, you've been a bit stiff on Mickey again. He didn't come on until the second quarter. Well, he has done it until the last 17, quarter. 113. Margin now back to 42 points. Here we Bali. Well into time on with this final quarter. <laughs> sorry, we're just bantering here between you. Sorry. Here, Blake. I'm just yeah, we're just having a bit of a <laughs> go at each other. <laughs> okay. Well, he's having a go at me again. <laughs> Mickey Gann, he's a good boy. <laughs> when he's in Bali. Yeah. <laughs> Back in the centre, Taylor. Just a, a tap to McFarlane. Free kick yeah, holding the man. Yep. And McFarlane takes it. Hold well on, Bobby BD. <laughs> McFarlane now goes to centre. Ford Cowan comes out. Can't oh. take the mark. Grozdanovsky, good play. There's the siren. And Eastern Suburbs have been victorious. 16, 17, 113 to 10, 11, 71. 42 points of difference, and it's a walking wounded there. McGough and Rundle <laughs> limping onto the ground. But I'm sure they'll be right for next su Sunday's second semi final between uh, Eastern Suburbs and Bannockburn. The final score 16, 17, 113. Thompson 10, 11, 71. The goal after, kickers. After the replay. The goal kickers for Eastern Suburbs, four to Robbie Reuter, three to Justin Allison, three to Nathan Murray, two to Matthew Hobbs, two to Peter Lang. Singles to Alex Fulston and Gordon Collins, while for Thompson, four to Mark Cowan, three to Dale Menzies, and singles to Mick Gann, Terry Nan Curvis, and Christian McFarlane. Well, it's an 80-point turnaround in... Uh, Two weeks, three weeks. Yeah, big effort, wasn't it, from the boys? That uh, obviously they've done their homework a little bit more than what Thompson had, and I think probably going in with uh, a bit taller combination here this afternoon probably didn't suit the conditions as well, being very blustery in that first half. And I'm sure that uh, Christian McFarlane and Christian Spith will probably be better for the run. 
but whether they've left their run too late or not, it'll be interesting to see the selection of their side next uh, Saturday when they take on Werribee Centrals in the first semi-final. Correct. Well, 3-2-1 and one for our guest video player of the day. Uh, pretty easy here this afternoon, and I've had to change. I've <laughs> best on ground. Clearly, yeah, I agree, Fado. Peter Lang, Al Arundel, great uh, four quarters of football from the skipper at half-back, and uh, another half-back uh, flanker uh, who had a run on the ball from time to time, Peter Grozanowski. I thought his effort was terrific all day. Took some great grabs and was always a driving force in defence. And... Uh, Many other good players for the uh, Eastern Suburbs side. Matthew Hobbs, I've got to apologise to him. Couldn't squeeze him in the votes. Uh, I thought his game was terrific. Uh, <coughs> Robbie Reuter, especially in the first half there. Uh, Andy Reuter, a good job assisting. Craig McGough, terrific. Didn't have his usual impact around goal this week. Not kicking one, but he uh, had a hand in a, a many others. But uh, all in all, it was just too good a team effort, wasn't it? Too good a running t team today, uh, Eastern Suburbs over Thompson, who were uh, very lethargic and flat-footed. Totally agree. So Lang, Rundle and Grovstanowski for Ronnie Bryan. <laughs> Fano? Well, I've seen it just a little bit different, but very similar. The three votes, without, without a doubt, Peter Lang, he, stood, he was head and shoulders above, above any other man on the ground. <laughs> I gave my two votes to uh, Brett Loughton, who I thought absolutely turned everything back in that. When the pressure was on in the first half, he was there at centre-half back. And I gave my one vote to a bloke who burrowed in, did some gutsy things all day, in the number one Guernsey and the captain to Alan Rundle. And I'd like to apologise to Nathan Murray, who I thought played well, and the number 47 Guernsey, who I thought played well too. And I'd also like to congratulate... Anthony Lamb from Thompson, who I felt shut Mick O'Leary out of the game. Even though even though Lamb didn't do a lot for his side, he certainly shut Mick O'Leary down. So Lang, Lawson and Rundle for Noel Fanning. Well, I've gone one vote to Matty Hobbs, and I uh, apologise to Grobstanovsky and also to... I thought Christian McFarlane's second half was pretty good. Yeah, yes. played very well. Yep. Uh, but I've given one vote to Matty Hobbs. I've given two to Radar, the Rundle. He is just the most courageous footballer I've yeah, ever seen. Yeah. He is just unbelievable. He's been doing it for 10 years. And again today, led from the front from halfback. And, yeah, I'm not going to put anybody else in the three votes but Peter Lang. Yeah. He was best on ground by you far this afternoon. Nice. <laughs> you, you Nan Ice. You Nan Ice. Lang three, Rundle two, and... Loughton will get the one vote. Loughton the one vote. OK. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that too. Okay. So there you go. Well, gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. Well, as are they good enough to get over Bannockburn? No. I don't think so. I think Bannockburn would still be red-hot favourites at the moment. But it's going to be interesting to see next Sunday when they play them here at Godfrey Street in the second semi-final. Before that, the cutthroat first semi-final, Werribee Centrals and Thompson, which should be a, a pretty good game as well. Yes, but, yeah. uh, it's going to be a real big one at... Uh, I tend to think after today's performance, uh, Werribee would be pretty happy, wouldn't they? Well, well you'd never know. You were comment before when the siren went about Eastern Suburbs, the walking wounded. That's got to be a concern, do I think uh, McGough has carried that injury through the second half of the season, so he'll obviously keep going, but he's a worry. He wouldn't want to get a knock on his knee again. His knee's the problem, and he's had that for the s most of the second half of the season. Uh, Alan Rundle's had hamstring problems for most of the season, so he's going to have to be careful as well. If they you, can keep those guys fit, well, well you'd send them to the pool Tuesday night, wouldn't you? You wouldn't put them out. Well, I don't think they've been training anyway, so I don't think they'll continue that. I don't think they will be training, but, uh, you know, they've got... They've they're finally starting to get some players in the forward line that can do some things. They lacked a forward line for uh, part of the middle of the season there, but they've got uh, Robbie Reuter back, and uh, Allison seems to be the uh, the, the, the young boy, fellow, the young fellow yeah. full forward who looks like they're putting faith in. And uh, you know, if they can keep going, get a few goals from midfield, well, you know, anything can happen. But uh, at the moment, you'd still think Bannockburn are sitting pretty with a week off, on the resting other, their injuries. Yeah, without a doubt. But on the other hand, um, the coach of Thompson. He must be worried about his half forward line because they were just non existent. Well, in the first I think three McFarlane's, and a half quarters. McFarlane's second half shows that he's probably getting back to some of the form that we saw in the early part of the season. I think that if he lines up there next Saturday at Cowan at full forward, they look a lot better. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. And uh, as you say, every week's a different week, and I suppose you really can't gauge uh, today's performance uh, from Thompson 
next week, but uh, it doesn't do a lot for your confidence, does it? No, it certainly doesn't. Final score, Eastern Suburbs 16, 17, 113 have defeated Thompson 10, 11, 71. Uh, the three, two and one this afternoon, Peter Lang three, Alan Rundle two and Brent Loughton one. Fano, we'll see you sometime during the finals again. You will. <laughs> Seeing as though Newtown didn't make them. They didn't. <laughs> You're coaching Newtown next year, is that correct? No. OK, <laughs> just putting you on the spot there. <laughs> now, don't forget, the game today will be replayed tomorrow night at the Great Western yes, Hotel at 7.30. And then on Tuesday evening, we will have the replay of the Bell Post Hill Wherry Central's elimination final on Tuesday night at 7.30 at the Great Western Hotel local footy replay, so be there. OK, well, from Godfrey Street until next Saturday afternoon when we have the cutthroat first semi-final between Werribee Central's and Thompson, and then on Sunday, Bannockburn and Eastern Suburbs. That's all from Godfrey Street, and uh, we'll see you next weekend.